Have you ever heard about the story of the frog and the mouse? Once upon a time, these two were close friends. The frog, a lively creature, often found himself visiting the mouse, who lived on dry land, sharing in the food and provision that the mouse had gathered. One day, the frog decided to extend an invitation to the mouse. Dear mouse, he said, I come to your house all the time. Wouldn't you like to visit mine? The mouse, being afraid of water, was hesitant. Your house is across the stream. I don't know how to swim. I'm scared of drowning, he confessed. The frog, quick to reassure his friend, came up with a plan. Don't worry, he said. You can climb onto my back and I will tie you to me with a strong blade of grass. This way, you can safely cross the stream. The mouse, trusting his friend, agrees to this plan, and they both set out. As they were halfway across the stream, the frog had a wicked thought. A sinister idea began to unravel in the frog's mind. He looked at his friend, the unsuspecting mouse, clinging to his back in fear. The frog couldn't help but remember the mouse's cozy home filled with food and provisions. His mouth watered at the thought of such a feast. Suddenly the frog's heart hardened, his eyes narrowed, and a cruel smile played on his lips. He thought, what if I let the mouse drown? Then all his stocked food would be mine. I wouldn't have to worry about my next meal for a long time. The temptation was too strong. The frog's greed overpowered his sense of friendship and loyalty. Without a second thought, he dived towards the bottom of the stream. The strong blade of grass that was supposed to be a lifeline for the mouse now became a tether of doom. As the frog plunged deeper into the water, the mouse was pulled down with him. The mouse, unsuspecting and innocent, felt a sudden jerk and found himself being pulled into the chilling depths of the stream. He gasped, his eyes wide with shock and betrayal. His heart pounded in his chest as he struggled to free himself from the blade of grass that tied him to his friend turned traitor. The reality of the situation dawned on him. His trusted friend, the frog, had betrayed him. He was alone, fighting for his life in the middle of a stream, tied to a frog who wanted him dead. The mouse's world turned upside down in a matter of seconds. In his fear, the mouse cried out for help. His voice echoed across the stream, a desperate plea for salvation. The sound was heartbreaking, a cry of betrayal and impending doom. But would anyone hear his plea in time? Or was he destined to become a meal for his treacherous friend? The mouse could only hope and pray for a miracle. His life hung in the balance as he struggled against the strong current, his cries becoming weaker with each passing second. In his fear, the mouse cried out for help. His desperate cries filled the air, a testament to the betrayal of trust and friendship. High above the stream, a hawk hears the mouse's cries and swoops down. The hawk, with its sharp vision and swift wings, had been a mere observer until now. But hearing the desperate pleas of the mouse, it decides to intervene. With a swift dive and a powerful grip, the hawk swoops down and rescues the drowning mouse. The hawk, in its act of rescue, unknowingly saves the frog as well. Tied to the mouse by a single blade of grass, the frog finds himself soaring high above the stream, caught in the grip of a bird that he had often admired from the safety of his lily pad. As the ground shrinks beneath him, the frog begins to realize the magnitude of his mistake. His mind races back to the warmth of the mouse's burrow, to the shared meals and the laughter. He had taken all of this for granted in his greed for more. Now, he found himself hanging in the balance, his life in the hands of another. The frog's heart pounds in his chest as he contemplates the danger he has put himself in. He had betrayed a friend, violated a trust, and for what? For the prospect of more food, which now seemed so insignificant compared to the value of friendship and trust. The frog's thoughts are interrupted as the hawk lands on a nearby tree, setting both him and the mouse down gently. The mouse, still shaking from the ordeal, scurries off without a word. The frog is left alone, the silence of the forest echoing his guilt and regret. In his greed, the frog not only lost a good friend, but also put his own life at risk. This story teaches us that we should never attempt to take away things that are not ours. After all, the value of trust and friendship cannot be measured in food or possessions.
but in the warmth of shared moments and the strength of mutual respect.